Karen, I got a question for you. What? So, you're recently married, right? Mm -hmm. One month later, you're already divorced. Why is that? Good question. Well, would you be able to handle a situation where somebody steps on you, disrespects you, beats you up, makes your eye black, breaks your nose, makes you bleed, hurts your feelings, abusive for one entire month? Would you be able to handle that? Absolutely not. I would not, no. Well, he didn't either. He's a pussy. He left. <laughs> What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Salute to everybody that's here. I want to talk about this video. Wow. Now, I probably have a clip in the beginning. Um, if not, I'll link it in the description. There's this woman, of course, her name is Karen, and there was a guy that's sort of interviewing her. He's asking her, why did you get a divorce after a month? And she basically was like, why did I get divorced after a month? Well, it was because there were abuse in a relationship. There was emotional, there was physical abuse, black and eye, broken nose, hurt feelings. And then, she asked him, would you stay with somebody that does all that to you? And he's like, no, I would not stay. And then she said, neither with him. He is a pizza. <laughs> and he left. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah, definitely got the caring part right. So basically, the gist of it was that she basically... It was a physically and emotionally abusive towards her husband of one month and he ended up leaving her and divorcing her now i don't know if this is real it does seem like a joke but it but i believe this may have happened but maybe not the way that she's saying that the divorce happened do i believe a divorce happened yes the guy that's interviewing her i don't know if he's the new boyfriend or if he's a friend First off, if he's the new boyfriend, he, all that laughing and giggling is going to be cut short as she start putting hands on you. Unless, you know, he's a friend, right? Because she, she, you know, the thing about this female, she's not bad looking at all. Not bad looking at all. But it's always the pretty ones that are always the craziest ones. There's a lot of pretty, pretty women that can't keep a man, can't, you know, the relationships always fall apart. You're like, well, how? You know, look at her. Well, she's probably crazy putting hands on men. I'm telling you right now, these women are putting hands on men. These women are out here disrespecting men, putting hands on men, cheating on men. She didn't add that because she probably was doing that too. Let me tell you something right now. Any woman that decides to put her hands on a man after a month of marriage, that's a woman that doesn't respect that man. And that's a woman who is probably cheating on that man. It has been for quite some time. Um, cheating is the ultimate form of disrespect. And also putting your hands on a man is also disrespect as well. But especially if it's a guy that married you, you know, and women like this, she probably has no respect for men. You know, she's probably always been able to get what she's wanted, get away with things because of the, the her looks and the fact that you know she's always been able to get a pass but to me they're just something that seems off about her it's something that's really off about her you you're telling me that you were putting hands on your ex-husband and then you you basically call him a punk because he left let me tell you something right now no man is going to put up with that now there are some men that's gonna put hands back on you that's what i want to know if the ex-husband would have retaliated she would not be sitting there calmly laughing about putting her hands on a man but again you chose him you saw weakness in him because how does a man not how does a man not see the red flags of disrespect and then marry you it's because of her looks a lot of you guys get caught up in how a woman looks now some of you guys may say well she's not attractive like that jay whatever there's got to be some reason why a woman is blatantly disrespectful to a man and he still marries her 
you guys have got to stop looking at the outward appearance of somebody and look inward and it's very clear to me that this woman has some psychological issues probably has a lot of psychological issues that needs to be evaluated she clearly has no respect for men whenever you see a woman put their hands on a man she has no respect for him none because a woman that respects a man is not going to put her hands on a man because she respects him too much she does she has too much respect for him to go and blatantly put her hands on him but a woman who puts her hands on a man that she's married to is a woman that she she doesn't respect him she doesn't respect him she doesn't like him and she she's gonna push his buttons just to do so just to see what she can get away with because she's probably always gotten away with doing this men have always put hand that she's always put hands on men and the men have never really retaliated because she's one of these type of women that's you need to put up with the things that i say and do if you really care about me she's one of those type of women she thinks that uh, you see thinks that by putting her hands on somebody that's the best way to show your love to somebody and then when you look at the video she seems a bit off she seems a bit off maybe that's just me maybe i'm reading too much into it but she seems a bit off to me like the the full picture isn't there that's what it seems like it seems like the full picture isn't there i don't care how attractive a woman is if i see signs of craziness i'm not about to wife her up but some of you guys are built different some of you guys are just you're built different you, you will wife up a woman and you will give her the world if she looks good enough even though she's mentally she's not all there there's something going on there you dudes will still do whatever it takes to win that woman's affection and that's how they get you that's how they get you this woman clearly has absolutely no respect or love towards men whatsoever and again, I don't know the guy that's this interviewing her. If he's thinking <laughs> about trying to wife her up, bro, I would reconsider. <laughs> or maybe that's a friend. But any man that's watching, that watched that video, I know you may find her attractive. You need to look past that. Because crazy comes in all shapes and sizes, man. And there's a lot of crazy women out here, man. Women are going insane. You need to be careful if they you know if you see if you see any signs of craziness you need to retreat get away just like the husband did <laughs> this dude waited a month and he said i'm i'm good because she thought it was funny to put hands on this guy but it wouldn't be funny if he retaliated and that just lets me know that she's the type of woman who's always dated weak men or or I would say this though, she probably dated men who were uh, a little bit more on the, I would say abusive side. I believe she's probably dated men who put hands on her. And I think she developed a disdain and hatred towards men because of it. And now any good decent man she comes across, she inflicts that she like she wants to inflict trauma onto them because the trauma that had been affected ah, the trauma that had been placed upon her she wants to place that trauma on other people and i've seen people like that man because they went through something they feel like you should go through it and they and they say you know what this person is weak if they don't go through what you know basically what i went through now some people may think differently but that's just the psychology of your modern woman she she's just different they are just different but if i was if i was a guy again i saw that video and i knew of this person i would stay as far away from this person as possible because you don't know what they're capable of 